Pope Francis will visit the Ukrainian Greek Catholic community this weekend when he goes to Rome's Basilica of St. Sophia. It was the mother church for Ukrainian Catholics for decades. Vatican correspondent Juliette Lindley sits down in an exclusive interview with the major archbishop of the Ukrainian church. Beatitude, thank you so much for joining us. We're here in this magnificent Basilica of St. Sophia in Rome. How significant is it for you that Pope Francis is coming here in a few days? We are very excited. Uh, Pope um, is also a bishop of Rome, so he's supposed to, vis to visit Roman parishes, his flock. And uh, uh, today uh, we have a very significant presence of the Ukrainian immigrants here in Italy. And of course, here in this basilic, we have very vibrant uh, Ukrainian parish community. So Pope is coming to visit uh, his people. This was the mother church for many years. How bad is the situation for Ukrainian Greek Catholics at the moment? And do you ever fear that it might have to return to being the mother church? We have um, our parishes, our faithfuls, in the occupied territory uh, of Ukraine. Seven percent of U Ukraine territory is occupied by the Russian military forces. But we are present in, on that territory, tr trying to witness to, try, to Christ uh, um, through the religious services, but also the charitable work for those who are in need. What would you specifically like to see the Holy See, the Holy Father doing specifically to try and find a solution in your country? Two years ago, Pope Francis started a special a charitable mission in Ukraine known as a mission Pope for Ukraine. Pope himself donated five million euro in order to help to those who are uh, in need. But also, uh, he um, uh, started a special collection in the Catholic parishes in Europe to collect money in order to help to those pe people who, who suffer uh, a war. So Holy Father is our voice, he's our protector, but also he is one who is with us in this, I would say, very tragic and difficult moment of our history. What do we need right now? It's a dialogue, authentic, peaceful dialogue, trying to mm, protect a life and integrity of human life. Thank you so much. May God you bless you much. and all those who listen to us. Absolutely, thank you.